Hello and welcome back. In this next video, I want to uh, create a billing alarm. Uh, the if you uh, if you've been following AWS you know, at reInvent last week, um, AWS announced uh, the availability of Mac operating system. Now, I really wanted to test that. I haven't. I will make a video on that. But with that, since I have an uh, I have a free account with AWS. I want to make sure that if I run something it does not I don't end up being charged for it because obviously I'm not running something for business need or any development need I am solely doing it for learning so I'm so for that I don't have to leave them running and being charged or you know pay for that so I want to make sure that uh, whatever I am doing for fun for learning at the end of the day I just delete them and have to pay as minimal as I can and I don't end up with a large bill uh, one way of achieving that is to set up a billing alarm so if I forget something and you know there is any charge incurred I get an alert on my phone through my email whatever that I can go and take care of it so let's get into it mm, my it should be dashboard so services right here what we are looking is cloudwatch right there so we're gonna go to cloudwatch i okay so you see there is a uh, nothing in here there is usage alarm i'm not sure uh did i create it or it was uh, by default because when i was going through uh like trying to figure it out uh, last night I did see usage but I never created anything so I'm pretty sure that it was already there so let's see least recent alarms nothing in there it means I, I haven't created anything that uh, usage is indeed a default alarm so these are all the alarms uh, you can see and we are need we, we are in need of creating a billing alarm I'm gonna click on billing <clears throat> so we can create alarms here you can see there are no alarms set up yes uh, it says it amazon cloudwatch can help you monitor the changes on your aws bill by sending you email alerts when charge exceed charges exceed a threshold that you define so let's create that one uh, this is pretty simple it's a metric and the it's for the billing estimate charges the maximum and the paper, uh, the period is going to check is every six hours threshold type is static so it's not an anomaly de detection i'm guessing it will be that uh, if uh, it's abnormal uh, the bill is not going to be usual but i'm going to leave it static uh this one is greater equal lower lower equal lower so for our purpose it's going to be greater because we don't want our bill to exceed a certain amount greater equal lower equal is pretty much greater equal can do that too uh, but for this one is for large businesses i believe and they want to make sure that their service is up and running they know how much it costs and if it goes down it means something is gone uh, wrong something is not right that's why they are not running uh, enough instances are not being run and you know they need to check what's going on for our purpose we're gonna leave everything default I'm gonna put a $10 USD uh, for this and I'm gonna click next let's see so this is an alarm and okay so this will trigger the alarm and SNS is simple notification service. We're gonna leave it like that. Create a no topic. Uh, oh, sorry, create a new topic. There is not a topic here, so we, let's go with creating a new one. Name must be unique so we can see billing alarm. List name only. Okay. So I guess space is not one of them. I can try this or no. Yes, that worked. <clears throat> so over here, I'm gonna type in my 
email address it's that it will send me uh, an email let's go create topic only email list for this account are available okay view in sns console we will go there later on okay so first we created now it's selecting so we it's already selected i believe so let's go next alarm name again alarm. send me over 10 bucks let's go and see if it works it's uh, it's created or not so uh, kind of created because the deadline is at 10 that's the threshold being set uh, it's kind I think it's the summary page preview yes and create so condition is static if the bill goes estimate charge is greater than 10 it will send me that uh, notification what's in there under okay that's nothing that we can we need to concern right now action <clears throat> Send a notification to billing alarm. It will be that email address. And everything looks good. Create alarm. Successfully created alarm. So now my billing alarm is right there. Right now the status is insufficient data. I believe that is because we set it up for to check every six hours. So my assumption is that every six hours it will check if the day uh, if the charge hasn't been gone up ten dollars it will stay the state as okay i'm taking okay from here so it's oh pending confirmation what's that the action sends a message to an sns topic with an endpoint that is pending confirmation or guess spam until the endpoint is confirmed look for subscription confirmation email or review the topic in sns mm, review the topic so before we go to metrics could be service line sns service since i'm not seeing sns here i do remember that yeah right there pending confirmation billing alarm pending information endpoint is emails okay so they are calling an email address that i put in there as the endpoint so i need to just go to my email address and i believe uh, confirm that email let's go so let's go to my email okay so there's that email I this is whatever and it is just tiny link and I have it here simple notification service SNS subscription confirmed you have subscribed this email address to the topic that is billing alarm your subscription ID is blah 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 and i can click on subscribe but i don't have to because i need that email so let's go there back and is there a refresh button somewhere probably not amazon sns go back confirm the status has been confirmed so let's go exit out of here Amazon services cloud watch right there <clears throat> I for Amazon <laughs> services the the tiny delay I don't like it okay so this uh, these it's still at the insufficient and right now it's in insufficient data but that uh, uh, that warning is gone uh, so let's wrap this video this is the how you set up billing alarm in aws and for me for my purpose it's gonna send me an email and um uh, i will see and if uh, in alarm email does come through i will be sharing it in another video if this video if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i will see you in the next one